I stayed on, we stayed on that matter, me and God, for five years. It's not as if other things were not working. I was praying, I was holding prayer meetings. In fact, some of you don't know, it's not today I started long prayer stretch. And I've been holding it from city to city. Uh -huh. You came to Lagos now. You came to Lagos. To one. You came to Lagos. You. Yes, thank God you came to this, my class. So there are some people, somebody, some people saw a picture of the first sonship conference. You also came to that first sonship conference. Hey! They saw the picture and said, saw people praying and said, ah, it has been long. I just looked and laughed. Those prayer, those things happening has always been there. But your calling, it doesn't mean your ordination is activated. Those are just manifest. God is just showing you signs of things to come. Until you come to the place of covenant, you will not see the full man. And Satan will fight everything possible to make sure that you don't appear where covenants and ordination can be activated. I'm angry in my spirit because this is the challenge of many people. They are sincere, but they are strong. How can you be sincere and be wrestling with God? Your prayer this night is God win me, defeat me. I'm too strong, I'm too hard. Defeat me. How long is it? Why is it taking you long to defeat me? Win me so that we can advance. So when I finish with my friend, we now made plans on how to come and take over Lagos. And there are many people that knew me that time. It's not today we have this, our fire from campus days. Ask my, my sister is here now. My sister is here. Those days, Sunday school, no sound, no nothing. Ask my sister. Her roommate was a Catholic. Is it not true? You were there in church. It's how many years now? It's, more, it's up to 10 years. I don't know. 2000. This is 2002. It should be up to 10 years. I came to teach Sunday school. I was teaching, teaching, teaching. I asked them, how many of you need the Holy Ghost? And they, boom, this person fell, boom, 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 boom. 2012. So, understand what I'm saying. That, that one can just be, that's not what we are talking about. There is, God works with, his purposes are locked down on altars. And that altar has an utterance. He has a will of his own. That's what I'm trying to show you. When Jacob encountered the altar, the altar defeated him so that he can, he can, he can benefit from what he's saying. The altar have to defeat his will, defeat him. You are not that strong. You need that kind of encounter that will defeat you. When he defeats you, you will not make progress. Are you getting what I'm saying? Up until 2018, ministry that I would have started since. I know when I, I, I know when we should have, the maximum I should have started is 2015. 2015. That, the kind of fire we have, we have passed through, we are already ordained pastors, so there is really nothing that is, but you are missing one thing, a fundamental thing. So you will notice that you are moving in cycles. After some time, you finally find out, I thought I was making progress. I'm here again. I've been here before. I've been thinking I can do it. I've been thinking it's in my hands to cause to pass your words. It is not given to man. If God said it, he will be the one to do it. Pray for 30 seconds, please. In Jesus' mighty name, listen to me. Nobody will make progress except he sheds something. There must be a... 
something to share, just like we continued yesterday. No matter the covenant you are carrying. I put it to you that you are too heavy to run this race. Many people will miss out on this race. Simply, not because they are not on track, but because they are too heavy for the race. Hmm? You are too heavy. You need to shed. We need to shed. These 50 days, we need to shed. You are too heavy. You will not believe how heavy you are in the spirit. You need to shed a lot of stuff. Some of those things you stuffed, they are, they are weights. They are dragging you down. Dragging you down. Dragging you down. Dragging you down. I used to think that once you gain direction, that is enough. It's not enough. You can miss out on the race simply because you are too heavy. And many people, just as we started yesterday, their weights are heavier than others. <laughs> I used a small baby, and the guy said he will not make it. Huh? There are people, they are, not, they are no more on the race at all. For that guy, he can still run. Is it not true? Yes, sir. Let me continue my example. Lawa, come out here. Okay. I need four people. Follow me. I need four people, and I will call out those four. Where is that your son? Huh? Okay, there is a young boy I was thinking is your. I want to use. Let me. Where? No, not him. Aha, uh -huh, you are the one. Come, come. Is he not your son? Aha. Uh -huh. He's looking like you. I'm not sure, but he's looking like you. Is it not true? The boy is handsome. Keep this video and watch it when you are 30 years. <laughs> Amen. Watch, oh, these are these are two categories of people. You come out. Come and join me. Come, 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 uh, run. Stand here, stand here. Lawa, come, you are the one I want to use. That. The, Lawa is on race. Lawa is the one on the race. Are you getting the point? Now, yesterday we said if you have weight, you cannot finish, eh? You will not move faster. You will be overtaken. So we are talking about speed. Watch. It's beyond speed. Watch. Are you with me? I need another smaller boy. Come, come. Let me fulfill your heart desire. <laughs> Can you see them? These are four levels of weight. You don't know how terrible you are. You are overestimating yourself. You are, you are being crippled in the spirit. You don't, I have a burden concerning this matter. An average person is not limited by sin if you are true with God, but there is too much weight. Too much. What? Oh? Come, come. No, him. I carry him. Can you see it? <laughs> ah, this one is worse. Oh. May I pray for you? May you never have any weight. Oh. Because even the smallest weight has already crippled him. Oh yeah, run, run, run this way and come back. Easy, easy. Come back, come back, come back. You can keep him. 
Naje kun na re da do. Watch, can you see can you see a typical manifestation? The guy is already folding on the weight of the littlest of weights. Let me tell you something. There are some people, they can come around you and be telling you that this doesn't matter. You can still be, have it and still be making progress. And some of them, you see them making progress. Uh, you don't know that this might be your size. Your kind of calling cannot accommodate any... That little weight can drop you down. But for another person, he can still carry their own and still be making... Everybody is caught to different layers of consecration and purity. Don't look at others. Your calling demands that your blazing holiness will be too strong and shining. Your calling demands that your commitment and discipline will be higher. You cannot step down for others just because they are doing it. Your standard is no man. Your standard is your ordination. You drive, derive your consecration from the revelation of the purposes of God in your own context. That's how we determine how to live our life. Not because somebody came and told me that this one doesn't matter, it's not too bad. See, he's small, but he has weighed our man down. Is it not true? If I call Baba Tunde now, he can easily carry that weight and be running. Is it not true? Just because Babatunde is carrying it, your destiny cannot carry it, even though it's small. It's small, but you can't, you can't sustain. Why can I keep using you? Come and carry this person. Wahala <laughs> deo. Ah. No, you can't run with this one. Are you seeing what we are saying? You can go now. Too many people are carrying things heavier than them. And if you ask them, they say they are on the race. Race to where? The last time you were on the race was five years ago. The last time you were on the race was one year ago. That was when you were light enough to journey with God. Now you notice that you are too heavy to touch things in God. But that's us. I bring you a warning from God. You must shed that weight now. It's not a meant to know. It's a matter to cry. The reason why I'm telling you this is something is about coming. And it cannot accommodate it. The Bible said that the path that leads to eternal life is narrow. It means that you can't pass successfully pass into the dimensions of eternal life being bogus. As you journey, you have to be slimmer and slimmer and slimmer and slimmer and slimmer. So, last five years, you can accommodate something that you bought today. Even that small one, God is saying, drop it. Watch, are you with me? What's your name, my brother? Huh? Eze. Eze Nachi. Come, come and carry him. Jump on his back. Now, are you fasting because you don't have too much weight? I hope he's not fast. Is he fasting? He's fasting. Ah. Ah, I wish. Okay, I started fasting early anyway. Courtesy of my mother, not because I want to. I'm not happy with those things they did to me. But thank God they did it to me. It's not, you should not be happy with everything, no. So, uh, can you see this heavyweight now? This guy will not succeed. He can't move. Drop him. Let's do the final analysis. Stop. You can go. You can go. Carry watcher. Watcher. Watch watch jump on. Jump on where? Release your weight on him. Release it where? Release it. Are you seeing what I'm saying? This is how people went to the ground. The weight is too much for them. Cry for one minute.
Don't go, Javier. Believe on me. Sariambora sasakati la pali, rante pota pamba parata sate, shapete penta li kaprata papo, ambeta papa papa pe, iya papa 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 paru sasakati, kapianda kapianda, iya papa papo, iya papa papo, iya papa 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 kambeta, ayai 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 ayai, kapa papa papa pe. This is not a prayer you can pray with pretense in your heart. If there is pretense and insincerity in your heart, there will be no progress. If God reminds you of the matter, mention it. If God is telling you about what it is, there is no need praying on a general term. Mention it. Call it by name. As a generation, save us. Deliver us. Save us. Deliver us. Save us from ourselves. Save us from the weights. Help us to shed the weights. Help us. Pretending that everything is all right. It's not all right. 